But first, more than two weeks have passed, but the desperation for a mother looking for her son is still strong. Today, the search for a missing Marine moved to the Rio Grande. And now Ryan Laughlin has been in Belen all day. Ryan, we were right there, actually, when police arrested two people in this case just last week, but you've got some new information on them tonight. That's right, Stephen Tessa. We do have new information. We are here in Berlin, and you know, it was on July 27th that uh, Matthew Gourlay first went missing. He was last seen leaving the Athletic Casino, and his cell phone actually pinged up the road here, which is why to this area has been such a focus. The search has moved to the Rio Grande. You see there, that's some private citizens using their own vehicles, their own boats, using what they can to search the river for Gourlay. Uh, and two arrests later, there's still more questions than answers, and they're looking now in the river to try to figure out what happened. The search for Matthew Gourlay has moved. In one of these irrigation canals that feed right into the river, so we're on the Rio Grande right now. His mother, undeterred. It's tough. It's a real tough one. To try and find her son that she says would have never have abandoned his dog. Yeah, Matilda. And Matilda's missing him, yeah. And he wouldn't have left Matilda. No, not even for a day, not even for six hours. Sandra Miller flew here from Texas for her son, Matthew Gourlay, who was living with his cousin near Berlin. He told his cousin that he was going out to get dog food. Well, that night he made a pit stop at the Isleta Casino and hasn't been seen since. Miller thought answers could be coming after these two were arrested. Police say Jeannie Willard and Francisco Gomez were using Gourlay's credit card after he disappeared and his burnt truck was found on the Mesa. Miller says they had more than just his wallet. I'm sure, I mean, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that they were his tools. I could visually see them in the back, but they wouldn't let me touch them. But court documents show Gomez says he picked up the wallet on the side of the Manzano Expressway. Berlin police say the fraud charges are unrelated to Gourlay's disappearance. Now a group of volunteers are on the water looking for anything to explain what happened or where Gourlay is. I just I want to know where he's at so we can get closure for our family. And it's not just private citizens that are out here searching the river. Just about an hour ago, we have the New Mexico State Parks Division launch an airboat. They estimate that they've covered around a dozen miles of the Rio Grande here, but you can tell there has been no development, still no sign of, of Guru Lay yet. Uh, the Berlin PD says this is still a missing persons case. They're hoping to find Guru Lay alive. But uh, as more time passes, the chances of that seem less likely. If you have any information or details on Gurule's whereabouts, you're asked to call Berlin P PD. From Berlin, I'm Ryan Laughlin, KLB4. Mom doing all she can. Ryan, thank you very much. Let's get back to those two people arrested, though. We were just feet away with Gurule's family when those officers cuffed them last Friday in Berlin. Again, they are Francisco Gomez and Jeannie Willard. Police believe they had no cares about using Gurule's bank card all over town, which is what tipped them off. When people commit crimes, they linger in the area. Why? I have no idea. Uh, maybe they feel confident that they did a good job and they can get away with it. And police say the pair was using that card just within 72 hours of Guru Lay disappearing. So you remember these two right here, the man and the woman on both sides of that truck? Well, we were right there, obviously, last week when police arrested Jeannie Willard and Francisco Gomez. Those two reportedly used a credit card belonging to a missing local Marine. Matthew Gourlay disappeared almost three weeks ago now. But today we have some new information about what police were looking for when they made those arrests last week. Our Roth Ryan Laughlin has been following this case. So Ryan, what did you find out today about this? Well, Tessa, this is the search warrant that Berlin police used to search that truck. And while police say the charges that they face are unrelated to the missing Marine, well, we now know what police were looking for. It's been almost 20 days of searching for Matthew Gourlay. We are actively looking. The search of the Rio Grande near where his cell phone last pinged didn't turn up any clues. I hope that we find Matthew sooner than later. But the search of the truck these two were in, Jeannie Willard and Francisco Gomez, did reveal what police were looking for. Willard and Gomez were picked up after police say they were using Gourlay's credit card shortly after police found Gourlay's car torched out on the Mesa. Court doc show Gomez said he found Gourlay's wallet on the side of the road. But Gourlay's mother says she saw her son's tools in their truck. Police issued a search warrant and found more than just a set of tools. One of the things outlined in the search warrant is that police were looking for a firearm. They found ammunition on Gomez, and when they searched the truck, they found the gun. I don't believe that that, that is coincidental. The search warrant shows a 22 caliber pistol was found. 
and police were looking for extra ammo or spent casings from shooting a firearm in preparation of the crime. They have to know something, and I think eventually that somebody's going to start talking. That search warrant also shows Willard that says Gomez stole property to fuel his drug habit, but it's Willard who's facing additional drug charges after police say she was caught smuggling meth into jail. As far as Gourlay's case, he's still considered a missing person, and the family is organizing another big search party this coming Saturday. Steve? A Texas mom is probably going to be spending a lot of time here in our state trying to just handle her son's death. We've been telling you about Matthew Gourlay, the Marine veteran who disappeared several weeks ago, only to be found dead over the weekend in Valencia County. One man has been charged with his murder so far, and Gourlay's mom plans to see that man in court. All right, Laughlin met with her today. Ryan? Yes, yeah, Steve. Sandra Miller lives in Texas now, but she's been in New Mexico for weeks. And at first, it was to find her son. Now, it's to see that justice is done. Matthew Randall, good to lay, 32. The words alone, a resident of Berlin, New Mexico, may not seem that hard to read. Passed away August 17, 2019. But those words were written today by a mom writing her son's obituary. Sorry. During his time as a Marine, he, his specialty was riflemen. Sandra Miller's son, Matthew Gourlay, was found dead over the weekend. Court documents show this woman, Jeannie Willard, told police that the man she was living with, Francisco Gomez, saw Gourlay pulled over on the side of the road several weeks ago and decided to rob him. When Gourlay resisted, Willard says Francisco emptied his revolver, shooting him in the head multiple times. He wasn't going to bow down to anybody. Prosecutors are now working on holding Gomez until trial, hoping to make the case that he's a danger to the community. In the meantime, Sandra is trying her best to describe what her son brought to this world. Most of all, Matthew was a fun-loving, caring person. He never met a stranger. Everyone was his family. He loved to dance like no one was watching, sing like he was the loudest one in the room, and cook like, he was, like it was our last meal. Matthew made everyone smile. That, that, he, that was his true mission. Matthew loved to sing karaoke, visit with his family, and make the most of every experience. So far, Willard is only facing charges for using Gourlay's credit card. Today, we learned that Gomez is charged in shooting another shooting back in December. The victim says Gomez shot him multiple times following a fight, and those charges were just filed yesterday. Stephen Tessa. A face-to-face -face meeting that no mother ever wants. Today, the mother of murder victim Matthew Gourlay got to see her son's alleged killer in person. Francisco Gomez appeared in court today on charges he killed Grule, a Marine who was missing for weeks. And Ryan Laughlin was there too. Ryan. Yes, Stephen Tessa. The state filed a pre-trial detention motion to try to keep Gomez behind bars until trial. And the mother, working to bring her son justice, is angry because she says Gomez shouldn't have been walking the streets in the first place. It's upsetting. Sandra Miller was in court to see this man. Francisco Gomez hauled before a judge. Cameras weren't allowed inside, but Miller was. It was the first time she was in the same room as her son's accused killer. Honestly, I think I was, I liked seeing him in shackles and that. Gomez is accused of shooting Matthew Gourlay in the head during a robbery several weeks ago. But this is not the first violent accusation against Gomez. If he would have been held accountable for some of those things already, he wouldn't have been on the streets. Today, prosecutors filed a pretrial detention motion against Gomez. The court documents reveal the first accusation of violence came more than a year ago from his own girlfriend, Jeannie Willard. In June 2018, Willard accused him of cheating, and court documents say he threw her on the ground, got on top of her, and slapped her multiple times in the face. Then in December 2018, he was accused of shooting a guy's car for dropping Willard off at home. Later that same month, he was accused of shooting a different guy in the face after a fight. However, cases were dismissed because the victim's inability to testify. The victim this time has a message for Gomez. I want him to know that I'm not going away. It's now up to a district court judge to decide if Gomez will stay locked up until trial. And one thing Sandra Miller would like to see brought back is the death penalty. We'll take a closer look at that issue tonight at 6.30. Back to you guys. Sandra Miller isn't giving up. I didn't have to come, I guess, but I, I had to come. <laughs> She's on her way to try and bring justice for her son. Sunday, she's making a stop to see him. I'm happy I know he's here because there's so many families who don't find their loved ones.
Matthew Gourlay, the Marine veteran, was laid to rest at the Santa Fe National Cemetery this summer. He was finally found after police arrested these two accused of using his credit card. Miller was right there, feet away when investigators put handcuffs on Francisco Gomez and Jeannie Willard. That emotional moment came weeks after Miller organized searches by land and by water. Law enforcement tell us Willard finally led them to Gourlay's body in a drainage ditch. He had been shot and killed. I just did what I thought I had to do. Gomez was in court last week. He's facing a long list of charges, including murder. He pled not guilty. I don't know how a person does that, but... Miller made sure she was right there for that moment, too. So I did give him that, that, that look, that, you know, that I'm not going away look. She plans to be there every step of the way to bring justice for Matthew. At least we know where he's at, and um, he's at peace now. Jeannie Willard, Gomez's girlfriend, is now charged with conspiracy to com commit murder. She plays a big role in this case because, again, it was her that led investigators to Gourlay's body. And what she told police led to Gomez being charged with murder. But apparently she's not listed as a witness in the case, so this thing is still developing. Stick with us on KOB4 for the latest. Guys. The chains around Francisco Gomez rattled as he was marched in front of a judge and the mother of the man he's accused of killing. His lawyer trying to get Valencia County Court to reverse a decision on keeping Gomez locked up until trial. That he could be released uh, on his own cognizance on an ankle monitor. But the judge wasn't having it. I, I don't see the point. Gomez is accused of shooting Matthew Gourlay on a quiet Valencia County road after Gourlay refused to hand over his wallet back in July. But Gomez is accused of other violent crimes, and a judge said those cases are why he's staying behind bars. I've already made a decision on another case that makes this move. I'm like the judge. She's a no-nonsense judge. Sandra Miller, Gourlay's mother, has been following her son's case closely. And today, she flew in from Texas to be here for the four-minute court hearing. Sitting on the opposite side of the courtroom was her son's accused killer's family. Francisco Gomez's mother, father, and brother were in court today, and they didn't want to go on camera, but they did want you to know they believe he's innocent and being set up for the murder of Matthew Gourlay. Gomez's family says he's not dumb, and if he was guilty, he would have never used Gourlay's credit cards shortly after he disappeared. Court documents show Gomez told police he found Gourlay's wallet on the side of the road, but his girlfriend, Jeannie Willard, she was the one who told investigators Gomez killed Gourlay before she led authorities to Gourlay's body. We have the facts and the and the video and we have we have a case. Miller sees it differently. Sorry for his family, but you know, he get what you you know, you get what you deserve. As she waits for justice to be All done. Right. From Valencia County, I'm Ryan Laughlin, KOB four.